This is video 6 of the grade 12 chapter on work energy and power and we're going to look at another example using the work energy theorem. This time we're going to look at an inclined plane so those types of problems often come up in exams and we're on page 31 at checkpoint 9 so let's go to that problem. So there it is, checkpoint 9 and let's identify some of the pieces of information they've given us. It's a 3 kg car and it drives up so there's there's a force of the engine at play here and it's driving up in an incline at 25 degrees to the horizontal and the car the engine from the car exerts a force of 60 newtons up the slope and there's friction around there's a frictional force of 15 newtons that's obviously going to oppose the motion and the speed of the car we are told is 5 meters per second as it enters the inclined plane over here. What are we asked to do? We've got to use the work energy theorem to calculate the speed of the car after it's traveled 4 meters up the inclined plane. So 4 meters up the inclined plane, what is its speed? at that point. So pause the video and have a go at that question. Right, the first thing that you would have done is identify the forces acting on the car. So if we draw a force diagram We've got the gravitational force that always acts straight down. And remember, remember we have to draw in our Cartesian plane parallel to the plane. That's your x-axis and your y-axis is perpendicular to that plane. So we need to draw in some of the forces. We've got a forward force on the engine. That's 60 Newtons. And we've got friction opposing the motion. And we're told that that's 15 Newtons. And we need to also realize that we have a component of the gravitational force acting down the slope. If G X, the horizontal component of the gravitational force, Let's put the 25 degrees in here, it always goes in there. And let's move on to calculating those that particular force we have. The other forces, we have all the forces that are acting parallel to the inclined plane. So from that we can find our net force. So what forces do we have? We have the applied force from the engine, 60 newtons. We have the frictional force, 15 newtons. And we need to find the horizontal component of the weight. And that's Fg sine theta. And Fg is mg and theta is 25 degrees. The mass is 3 kgs. G is 9,8 and we need to multiply that by sine 25. And the horizontal component comes out to be 12.42 newtons. And that always acts down the slope.
Right, so the next step is to write an expression for the net force because that's the force we need to use in the work energy theorem. And if we go back to our diagram, if we take up the slope to be positive, then the net force is going to be F minus friction minus the horizontal component of the weight. We have all three forces, so let's put them in. And the net force comes out to be 32.58 Newtons. And that net force is acting up the slope. It's come out positive. So we should have an acceleration up the slope and the speed of the car should increase, its kinetic energy should increase. So let's go to the work energy theorem now. That's straight off the data sheet. Left hand side, net force multiplied by the displacement. Right hand side is the difference in kinetic energies. Final minus initial and then it's just a case of putting in the numbers the net force was 32.58 the displacement up the ramp was 4 meters mass is 3 and we're looking for that final velocity after 4 meters. Initial kinetic energy, mass 3, and the car came into the ramp, at the bottom of the ramp, traveling at 5 meters per second. And if we solve all of that, we get V final to be equal to 10.58 meters per second. 